Well, Emily, thanks again for being with me today about uh, Big Break NFL. It was a terrific finish by you and the Rice team with that unbelievable putt. Um, talk about it. Tell me, what were you thinking? Just walk through it for us, because everybody just wants to relive it again and again. Okay. Well, I mean... I just I think the golf channel does a wonderful a wonderful job of bringing it together a montage of all my missed putts, so they really know how to build up the dramatics and uh, so I mean yesterday um, the competition was you know all three of us hit from one location closest person to the hole will attempt to make the putt and you know up until this point you know I'm notorious for missing putts and uh, unfortunately that's not how I would you know consider myself a golfer. I love putting and I, I just the nerves would get to me. So I, under pressure I especially love downhill putts. So when I hit that ball just right at the pin, if you're you're on a downhill slope for sure from uh, where my ball was down to the hole. It was a good slider and I love breaking putts and I love downhill putts. So when we all get up there, I from the fairway I remember not thinking my shot was very close to the hole. I thought oh I thought I thought I blew it way past it. So when we get up to it, I'm like, oh, this is actually not as far as I thought. So, um, you know, it, it was pretty obvious who was closest, and everyone, you know, all fingers were pointing at me. So I just had to bite the bullet and step up and hit a putt. And I just remember, I mean, I, I watched the show over this morning because last night I couldn't really hear. And right as I'm walking up to the putt, I just say, like, come on, and redeem yourself. And... Uh, I mean, it was kind of, I don't remember saying that at all. So when I see myself saying that on the show last night, I thought, I was like, wow, we, we made it, make it a little dramatic, I'm like. So, um, and I, I get up there and I, I just, I mean, I scream at that ball to turn. And it just goes in and how exciting, oh my gosh. I, I honestly, well, those feelings are awesome. Yeah, and, and I mean, Jerry and Isaac, I mean, they couldn't have been more excited if they putted it themselves. It was oh, just so I know. great. Yeah. Oh, heartwarming Seriously. really was. And the fact that, you know, they, they, they put, they seem to have such confidence in each other and the teamwork and, you know, saying, oh, no, it was it was a done deal. Emily was going to hold that putt. Like, and that just says a lot for the way you guys gel, work together. It's so unlike some other teams out there. Um, mm -hmm. So it's really good to see that. Um, so, you know, I have to ask the question, obviously, about um, mm -hmm. Chris having that conversation with Jerry about yeah. Brian. And Jerry looks so uncomfortable. And Brian right. saying, Doesn't or sorry, he? yeah, and Chris saying that Brian was acting like a little girl. It was just so demeaning, in, not because girls are demeaning, but, you know, he, he obviously hasn't got much respect for women. He treats Shannon like she's irrelevant. And, you know, he, it's just, I don't know, I just wondered if Jerry talked about that later. He certainly didn't like being on camera with Chris going through that conversation. You could just tell. Yeah, I mean, I recall being back there and, you know, you'd talk to Jerry later and he'd be like, man, it's awkward talking to Chris, you know, and you just, you just hear things that you just wish that they don't say. I mean, with the whole Chris Dolman saying, oh, I wish you could trade. I'm like, this is your team. Like, look, I, I already got, you guys don't even have a loss on the board. Look at look at me. I was the one to miss that short putt to get a loss for my team, and yet I got the biggest support system within Jerry and Isaac. And I'm just, I'm just lucky as heck that I wasn't put on Chris Dolman's team. And I understand, you know, behind the scenes he was like, you know, I'm trying to build him up. I'm trying to make him angry to make him play better. But I'm sorry, that would not fly with me. I would probably share some choice words, maybe cry a little, <laughs> you know. And yeah. oh man, I just, uh, I just feel bad. And and I, I just, I mean, I'm watching it over again this morning to check it out. And sure enough, when he has that conversation with Jerry, it's like he's just going up to the first person he can to share how he's feeling and. And Jerry doesn't want anything to do with it. It looks like, like, oh yeah, um, oh, okay, good talk. So uh, it's mm -hmm. interesting. Yeah, glad I'm not yeah. there. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. It you know it just begs the question: is 
what else is happening behind the scenes that we're not seeing because what we are seeing is pretty bad. So I feel yeah. really badly for that team. I keep wanting to ask yeah. Brian, tell me what was going through your head. <laughs> but yeah. he obviously he obviously reacts strongly to it. I mean, he's I playing like a you know out of his shoes. He's playing so well, but you you, you got to think at some point that's going to bite you. That kind of negative, aggressive attitude is going to hurt the team and right now he thinks he's doing Brian a favor and I just can't see that lasting. But. No, it, this is not football, it's golf. You know, we rarely play on teams and so this kind of format, you got to really, I don't know, play in the favor of the golf, not the football because I just don't, it would not make me the happiest camper. So no. we'll see. I'm just, I'm very lucky, very happy that I'm on Team Rise, you know, with those, those guys couldn't have been, you know, a better support system. You know, that's who I turn to when I made that cut. I go straight to those guys, you know, not walking over to the bench to give myself a pat on the back and sit down in my own little world. Like, I want to share it and be excited with my team. So yeah. I am so happy to be on Team Rise. I don't blame you. I wish I was on Team Rise. <laughs> uh, so, you know, there's other things happening, too, that's kind of interesting. I mean, if we're going to talk about, you know, the, the drama, I mean, when um, Team Brown was called out by Team Bulger to be in elimination, you could see that, you know, anger in Tim saying, you know, I passed him by last week and he's taken me down this time. You know, I, I thought, what a second, you know, these guys play, yeah. you know, pro football I mean, it isn't personal, and it is his business, and yet he he seems to be taking it personally, and I, that kind of shocked me. Yeah, I I mean, it's one of those things that watching on TV, because we weren't there. You know, once we get immunity, we are taken off the premise, you know, of, of the area, and we just don't get to see this stuff. So it's interesting to see the it's kind of behind the scenes for us, too, be like, oh, so that's what was going on when we were relaxing at home. Wow, I'm glad I wasn't there. You know, I'm glad I wasn't being the one called out. Um, but it is, I think it's fun to see the emotions, and I mean, I was watching it again, and Tim Brown, in one of the competitions, you know, the nerves are getting to him, and he just says, like, man, I hate this show, you know, obviously he's not meaning it, but it just shows you how, how much the emotions can build from the pressure that you feel. Yeah, you can't imagine that they would be feeling it, really, given their history and their careers, but, and what, where they've been before, but it is, I love it too, I think it makes it so much more fun. Well, there's a lot of other things that went on that you did, that you know you hadn't seen. So Tom talking about Chad, you know, a little less of this, a little more of that. I mean, Chad's yeah. starting to get on some people's nerves. He's a little overconfident, and yeah. I wondered uh, what if there was any chit chat about that. Um, I think just a lot of people were surprised that he wasn't acting the same as he was on Big Break Mexico. You know, he was like a goofball kind of weirdo on Big Break Mexico, and now he's like he, taking like the team leader role, and you're just like, wait, what? You know, this is not well, who are you now? So it's like a completely different personality, and you feel like he's kind of, uh, I don't know, the little, not the nicest to his teammates. You know, I remember maybe in the first episode, he turns to Z, and he says, come on, you're a professional golfer. You should make this putt. It's like, under these circumstances, you should never, I don't know, put that pressure on your own teammate. You know, that's yeah. a good mind, that's a good, uh, uh, mind game to play with your opponent, but not your own teammate. Like, I mean, she made it and everything, and yeah, we are professional golfers. I guess we should make every single putt, according to some people, but I just think he's he's playing a game that could backfire on him pretty quickly mm -hmm. within this team. Yeah, well, just even the way when she uh, was going for that putt, you know, him standing behind, oh, do this, do this, little patronizing, you know, one thing to That's help funny. somebody another thing to treat them like, you know, I know best and just do what I tell you. And uh, and yet she seems to be patient with them. I'm I'm not sure if it's building up inside her, but uh, she, she doesn't seem to bark back at him, which if I it know. was me, I'd just tell him to get out of my face. <laughs> <laughs> well, I thought, I mean, she's also, after she missed that putt, in her interview, she's like, you know what, I didn't make a good swing. I thought I had a good line, didn't make a good putt. So she's taking that, for, uh, taking that responsibility. And I feel like that's really admirable of her. But then right after, he's saying, you know what, I'm the best putter. I should have made that. I, As the best putter, I should be doing this. And you kind of think, like, no, give, give your teammate that opportunity to take that responsibility yourself. What are you? I thought that was really interesting that mm -hmm. here he's not saying, hey, she did a good job. It's like, nope, I should have done it. 
I should have done it. I'm I'm the best one. I should have done it. It's like, no, 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 no. You <laughs> watch yourself. Yeah, it's it's all about me, you know. It's all yeah. about me. <laughs> yeah. So well, I, I think it's know, really, it makes it really interesting for sure. This, I feel like they're just doing a great job of <laughs> drumming up a lot of drama for all of us to uh, enjoy, but not yeah. so much fun when you're a part of the drama. So. <laughs> yeah. Well, I, you know, watching last night, I thought it was mostly drama. I, I don't know, but for me, the challenges that were put forth uh, during the day weren't as challenging as ones we've seen in the past at other shows, and I thought. Yeah, you know, I'm wh where all the excitement was in the drama, but it wasn't actually in the play because they just seemed to be hitting a lot of approach shots, putt, approach shots, putt. And I, I thought they could have done a little bit more with that that day, but you weren't there playing it, so maybe. But I just wondered what you thought watching it last night. Yeah, I mean, well, the competition that we played in, obviously, it it is a lot more difficult when you're out there and you're hitting the shots yourself. You know, and it may look just like simple approach shots, but it's not. It's it's putting the pressure on you that there's there's a an agenda to everything. Like the whole you have you have to go out and declare what number you're going to hit prior to hitting it. So you know, Team Dolman they took a really conservative route, and they they listened to Brian and they thought you know going for I think it was a five was going to win. Whereas the rest of us like no, you got to go big because we're all good players out here and people mm -hmm. are going to make putts and that's exactly what happened. Like, the two yeah. people who play conservative were, you know, the bottom three. And that's that's crazy. I mean, I, I wouldn't have seen that happening just because we're good golfers. And, yes, it, it may have looked like an easy competition, but it actually is very difficult. And to go out and execute and make a putt, it's like, okay. The people that sit at home should have been like, wow, okay, they, they mean business. And uh, I think that was a good showing of, the people's skills that you you don't really need to have the hardest competition for these players to show their ability. You know, have your average Joe golfer go out there. And most people are not going to be getting up and down. So that's no. really cool to see some of these top-notch golfers. And I think it, I think it was really fun. You know, James made it. Oren made it. I made it. Uh, who? I mean, the only people who didn't or Chris made or not Chris Cooper made it. The only person who didn't, there was one out of six teams who didn't get up and down from their respective locations, and I thought that was pretty pretty impressive. You're sitting on the bench being like, good thing we went for the number eight because we would be mm -hmm. going home if we were conservative. So it was yeah, it was pretty cool. Yeah, no, no, actually, no, you're right. I didn't pay I didn't pay enough attention to the the ones who went conservative and ended up at the bottom, and the ones who went big or went home kind of thing. So that's great. Well, thanks for filling yeah. me in on that. I, I'll have to go yeah. back and look at it. Yeah, yeah well, Emily, I think, I think been, that was a really fun one. <laughs> yeah. This has been a great pleasure, as always, talking to you. Is there anything you wanted to close with today before we uh, sign off? Oh, man. Just, uh, you know, these last two episodes have been pretty exciting, but let's, let's hope that Team Rice can keep it going. Yeah, let's hope. You go, girl. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks. <laughs> okay. We'll talk next week, all right? All right. Bye. Bye for now.